Has a team in the UK discovered a cure for paralysis? Now, I don't want to overstate this, so listen close, but this is exciting news. A drug developed by British scientists to treat lung disease may find a new purpose, repairing spinal cord compression injuries, or SCI. Researchers from the University of Birmingham say AstraZeneca's AZD1236 restored movement and sensation in mice by 85% after just three days. This is in a report at Study Finds. Lead author Professor Zubair Ahmed said, quote, This drug has the potential to be a first-in-class treatment against some of the key pathological drivers of SCI and could revolutionize the prospects of recovery of SCI patients. They really think they're onto something here. Estimates show that nearly 18,000 Americans suffer a life-threatening spinal cord injury each year usually as a result of a car accident or sport accident, violence, or a fall. Scar tissue prevents repair by acting like a glue, they say, leading to paralysis below the site of the injury. The pill was originally created to control and reduce the progression of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Researchers have now found that it fuels nerve cells, making regeneration possible. After three weeks, lab rodents reached unprecedented levels of recovery with a dramatic 80% preservation of function. The researchers demonstrated that AZD1236 halts the buildup of excess fluid around the spinal cord called edema. It also reduces the breakdown of the blood spinal cord barrier and scarring at the site of the injury. Additionally, the drug blocks two enzymes, MMP9 and MMP12, which they say fuel inflammation and hinder healing, leading to nerve cell death. The drug comes as a pill or an injection. Further analysis revealed the drug blocked the formation of inflammatory chemicals linked to long-lasting neuropathic pain, which often follows spinal cord injury. It was 82% better than common painkillers at alleviating sensitivity to cold, heat, and touch. Life expectancy after spinal cord injury has not improved significantly since the 1980s. Fewer than 3% recover basic physical functions. A third are re-hospitalized at least once a year. A complete recovery from a spinal cord injury would have far-reaching social and economic benefits for millions of people. Let's keep our fingers crossed on this one, folks. And the British team has filed a patent application for the spinal cord injury therapy. No word in the report regarding if this treatment would work on patients who have been paralyzed for a while. They seem to be specifically talking about spinal cord compression injuries. Of course, if you have questions, definitely chat with your doctor. You can check out more information on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.